Hi everyone, it's Miss Laura from the Upper Marion Township Library coming to you live with our next installment of our Artist Alliance programs for Summer Reading 2020. Today we are going to be making our very own puppy paint, which has literally the coolest texture to play with. And this is a perfect project if it's super hot outside and you don't want to be out today, or if it's raining and you don't have anything to do outside and you need to be in the indoors, it's a perfect project for some days like that or if you just wanna try something new. All right, so what you'll need for this project, you'll need some sort of dish to mix your puppy paint in. I'm using this remove, um, disposable tin because it's just really easy. You can use anything. You can use a bowl, you can use a nine by 13 pan, something probably a little bit smaller would be helpful because then you can actually mix it together fairly easily. You'll also need shaving cream. This is really inexpensive shaving cream from the local store. And you'll need some sort of a white glue uh, Elmer's works, but if you don't have Elmer's and you have, an, you know, another form of white glue, that's perfect. You can also use um, food coloring to dye your um, puffy paint with. I'm using this gel food coloring. We're going to try it. I haven't tried it with this recipe yet, but I have it in my cupboard upstairs and I want to use some of it. So this is a purple color, which I think will be really fun. Um, you can also use regular food coloring. You could also even try using some tempera paint mixed in, see how that goes. Something to mix your paint with. I'm just going to use this straw because I have it on hand. And of course you'll need paper to actually paint on. All right, so there's actually nothing in my pan this time. So it's just my pan. And you're going to mix equal parts um, glue and shaving cream. It's kind of hard to figure out what equal parts glue and shaving cream is because it's such a different texture for each one. But you kind of just eyeball it and you can kind of adapt it as you need to. I'm going to pour in some glue first and put my food coloring and mix that in the glue and then I'll add my shaving cream to that. I think it might work best. We'll find out. So I'm just going to take the top off of this completely. I'm not going to make a ton because it's just me creating this. But if you have a bunch of kids at home or you're having a sleepover um, party uh, with friends or cousins or something, you'll definitely want to have a whole bunch and maybe do it in separate containers so you can have a whole bunch of colors. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of glue and I just did like a couple, a couple glugs of the glue. All right, close this back up so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna add, so I'm just, not very much at all, just a little bit. I'm gonna add my purple food coloring to this. And this is gel food coloring, so it's a little bit different from the food coloring we've used in previous programs. I think any of it should work, honestly. It's just coloring the glue to a color that we want it to be. And this is already looking phenomenal. I will show you as soon as I'm done mixing it up. And like I said, I thought it made sense to combine the glue and food coloring first and then add the shaving cream to it. So that looks pretty awesome. Look at how fun purple that is. Perfect. Now we'll add the shaving cream. Always shake the shaving cream up a little bit. Um, this has been sitting for a while in the library, so we'll make sure it's nice and mixed together. Let's hope it still foams a little bit because that's the point of puffy paint, right? And then just add, there we go. Add it right into your puffy paint. All right. And then all you're going to do is actually mix this together. So a spoon might be really helpful, a popsicle stick, something like that where you can scoop it around. Like I said, I'm just using this straw because that's what I had on hand. Um, and you kind of want to try and keep most of the air in the shaving cream so that that creates the lift of our puffy paint. So I'm just mixing it in and the shaving cream has a like really unique musky man scent to it, um, which is fun too because it's definitely another, um, another sense that you're using creating this. So I think I've got all I can do with my straw. I'm just going to get in here with my fingers a little bit and mix it up. Now, obviously, you're adding a lot more white to your color, so our really deep, dark purple that we originally had is now a much more pale purple. I don't know if you can see that very easily, but it's literally poofy and puffy already. So then you can just finger paint all you want on here. You can have, you can make a smiley face. Um, you can, we did this one time and we made snowflakes, which was a lot of fun because it worked really well. And the coolest thing about this paint is that it, it will actually dry puffy. So it'll create a three-dimensional image for you. Again, it's something great that you can create for friends. You can create, you know, a fun picture for your neighbor. 
um, something you can put in the mail. Again, it's always something that you can do. I'm always a big proponent of sending stuff to people because everyone loves to get mail that is not bills. So here's a fun little image. I'm just kind of doing polka dots all around. And you can see, now that my fingers are all puffy painted, there's my little image, and you can actually see just how puffy it is. So you can see all of the ridges and all the lines. Let this dry. You'll probably need to let it dry for a couple of hours. Um, but then, it, like I said, it actually dries hardened um, at this puffy stage. So see how much you can use. Maybe try and make something really puffy. See how high it'll get. Um, or you can flatten it out and smooth it out in some areas where you want it to be smoother. Um, and it's such a fun texture. It's like a really smooth, like creamy texture and it feels really neat on your hands like it's just a lot of fun to use like I said you don't need a ton I did you know just a couple glugs of soap or a couple glugs of the glue and a little bit of shaving cream and I made a ton um, you can make a whole bunch of different you know containers of this and you can play with it you know for a good long while it doesn't have to be a two minutes uh, art activity like I did but there's a lot of really cool ways you can use this so take a look explore. Again, we always want to see your creations. So tag us at UMT Library. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also hashtag UMTL Reads for our summer programs. We're using that hashtag all summer long. Um, and as always, these programs are available on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel um, all summer long. So if you don't get to it right away, don't worry about it. Please come back and check it out at some point when you have some time. And I'm going to play a little bit more with this awesome textured puffy paint that we've created. Have a great day. We hope you're having an awesome summer. Talk to you later. Bye, everyone.